Ravenswood Manor, an imposing mansion shrouded in mystery, had been in the Hargrave family for generations. Recently, the family had been plagued by horrific hauntings, bone-chilling sounds, shadowy figures, and unexplained movements that turned their lives into a living nightmare. Desperate for answers, they reached out to the renowned ghost hunting team led by Maggie Collins. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Maggie, Ethan, and Lila arrived at the manor, their breath visible in the crisp evening air. The mansion's gothic architecture loomed dark and foreboding against the twilight sky. Inside, the atmosphere was heavy with fear, and the family's stories of terror hung in the air like a palpable fog. The team set up their equipment in the grand foyer a room decorated with faded elegance, but now overtaken by a sense of dread. These creaky floorboards are going to drive me nuts. Ethan busied himself with cameras and audio recorders, grumbling about the creaky floorboards. Maggie reviewed her notes, while Lila, her face pale, seemed to sense the oppressive energy even before the investigation began. The family had reported the worst disturbances occurring in the old library and the master bedroom. The team decided to start their investigation in the library, a room filled with ancient books and dusty artifacts. As they entered, the temperature dropped sharply, and a cold breeze seemed to swirl around them. There's something here. Lila closed her eyes and extended her senses, trying to connect with any spirits lingering in the room. It feels angry. Ethan rolled his eyes but set up an electromagnetic field, EMF detector, and motion sensors, his skepticism masked by professionalism. All right, let's see what we've got here. Maggie approached a large, ornate mirror on the far wall, sensing a strong presence. Suddenly, the temperature plummeted further, and the team heard a series of bone-chilling, disembodied whispers. This isn't just a glitch, something is definitely messing with the sensors. Ethan's equipment started malfunctioning, the readings spiking erratically. Lila's hands shook as she reached out, her face contorted with a mix of fear and concentration. It's not just one spirit. There are multiple entities here, and they're not happy. Just then, the library's door slammed shut with a deafening bang. The team was trapped. Ethan, use the backup flashlight. We need to communicate with them. We mean no harm. We are here to help. The room grew darker, the whispers turning into anguished cries. Ethan's camera captured fleeting glimpses of shadowy figures moving across the walls. Lila, her connection growing stronger, began to see glimpses of the spirits. A group of mournful figures, their faces twisted in sorrow and rage. The spirit's distress seemed to reach a peak, and the temperature dropped even further. They're angry because their suffering has been ignored. They want their stories to be heard. They need justice. Maggie and Ethan worked quickly, documenting the evidence and trying to find a way out. They managed to pry open the door, and with the spirit's cries echoing in their ears, they exited the library. The spirits here are tormented and restless. They are seeking recognition and justice for the wrongs they endured. We need to uncover their stories and address the unresolved issues. The family, although shaken, agreed to cooperate. The ghost hunters worked together with the Hargraves to research the history of the mansion and the troubled spirits. Over time, they discovered that the spirits were indeed victims of injustices long forgotten. With this newfound knowledge, the team and the family worked to honor the spirit's stories, organizing a memorial and making amends for past wrongs. Gradually, the hauntings at Ravenswood Manor subsided, and peace was restored to the once-tormented mansion. Maggie, Ethan, and Lila left Ravenswood Manor knowing they had not only faced a terrifying ordeal, but had also brought resolution to those who had been suffering in silence. The mansion's oppressive atmosphere had lifted and the echoes of anguish were replaced by a sense of calm.